All right, when you put an electric water pump on a vehicle, you're taking away some of the mounting points for some common things such as oil dipstick tubes and alternator brackets, etc. So what this video is going to concentrate on is the kit that comes uh, to install your alternator once you have an electric water pump on your vehicle. So the kit comes with various length bolts, bushings, spacers, uh, adjustment rod, the top piece, and of course, thankfully, it gives you instructions to which spacers and which bolts go in which hole in the mount. Uh, and then you got to kind of measure each one, make sure you've identified which spacers go with which size bolts and which size bolts go through which holes on the spacer. And then you got to determine by looking at your engine where all these different uh bolts are going to go to in the cylinder head and then once you have a plan mapped out on how it's going to go together then it's just a simple matter of uh, just getting everything hand started on the engine and the alternator just to make sure everything's going to fit before you tighten anything down so we already got everything laid out here i've got the spacers identified to which ones they go in which holes they go in on the bracket so we're going to start this process and i'll get back to you guys once i get it up on the engine so we can see what it's gonna look like. So we got the uh, bracket installed. So you can see that the two side pieces, they go through that cover, the vacuum plate for the water pump. And then the other piece down here goes into the uh, water pump through the jacket into the block. So those two pieces had to be removed from the water pump and then the spacers put in and the bolts installed. Then you got your large bolt that runs through the end of the bracket and then goes has a spacer and goes into the cylinder head the only problem i ran into with this whole project well there was two of them the first one is the bolt that holds the adjuster into the engine right here the one they supplied in the kit was too long and it interfered with my uh, radiator connector right here and i think the reason why is because they were thinking of the more common uh, driver side outlet where this wouldn't be in the way so I had to improvise and find a shorter bolt that would work and a couple of uh, different size spacers in order to get the best alignment that I could. Uh, the only other issue I have is I underestimated how much shorter the belt was going to be and the belt that I bought is about maybe a half an inch to three quarters of an inch too short. So I'm going to have to swap that out in order to uh, put my belt on. As far as the pulley alignment goes, it looks fairly close. I gotta measure it and make sure, but I think it's gonna be good to go. Um, and I think the uh, billet aluminum, that just kinda adds some class to it. it makes it look pretty neat. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know.